Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to episode 16 of Let's Play the Rift Breaker. We are still in the nuclear territory, in the desert biome, and hopefully we will be not getting killed by an earthquake scene. Uh, let's quickly look at technology and just get a few things sorted. So we will want to just get a few of those weapons done. That's new. I'm pretty sure that's new. Uh, well, we'll find we'll find out. Shockwave towers, I think, are pretty poor. I thought I'd already got a new. Yeah, I do have a new. Sniper. You know what? Let's let's build that. Let's see if we can build that. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, we can build a minigun. I'm building that for sure. And then we'll also get the blaster nuclear missile there we go crafting completed crafting completed and we need to completely change our setup so these flamethrowers are terrible so we'll change those for miniguns there we go and these rocket launchers let's go for nukes so yeah, this has got yeah DPS two three six, and this is nearly two thousand. Wow, that's that's a big difference. Excellent. And another mine has gone offline. Wow, that's well, it is what it is. Uh, that's a lot of carbonium to get rid of though. Fifteen hundred. So what I'm going to do is take it offline after a little while. Seismic activity is decreasing. Good. Let's go around and repair all of that. Looks as if there's not much to be repaired beyond that. Okay, did I teleport anywhere? No, I didn't, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to manually go. I did not put a door there, did I? So I'm going to. Yeah, the one upside to grabbing this particular, I don't need these bits now. Because. This one. Okay. Yeah, getting to this particular nuclear area is going to be the difficult part. Warning. Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. We should go there and clear it out. So what I can do is I can take that offline as soon as I've built this one. Let me just quickly check. Yeah, it's just going to be from there, so I'm not too worried about that. So I can use Rare Earth Mine, and I will do one there. And no, I don't. I don't think it's worth it at all. I don't think that's worth it at all. I'm just going to keep it at two, and then I can sell this. Wow, 12.7 to 12. Not quite sure. Upkeep, production, plus 1,500. Base is under attack. Quickly changed. How much is a. It costs 500. Of course, that's a level 2, that's why. That's why. I've done it again. I've completely forgotten about the levels. Really need to sort that out. That's, that's, I just keep making that exact same mistake. It's getting a bit frustrating and stupid at this point. I shouldn't be making that kind of mistake. And we'll grab all of that. And hopefully we'll be getting up to 10,000 soon. Very soon. If I quickly make sure that all of this is okay. And I believe it is. And we should be able to... Warning. A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Pretty sure it's the same as the one that we've just been dealing with. So 26 out of 52 towers, that's absolutely fine. Solar is at 200%, so we're at 2,500. Yeah, that seems fine at 2,500. We're going to build a few more batteries because, and we're going to put them in this little alcove bit. Because we want to make sure that we're really in a good position. 
and with two th two and a half thousand from solar, we should be able to. We'll just wait for this to build, and then we can upgrade it once more. Because only having one mine online has become a bit of a problem, and the main issue is that it's just fitting them there. It's difficult to fit it everywhere in terms of the shape of the mines themselves. It is what it is. It's tempting to grab that one, but uh, we're going to have to extend the base to such a such a difficult and risky amount. Let's have a little wander around here and see if we can find any new uranium patches. We may be able to, we may not be able to. Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. We should go oh. and clear it out. Yeah, he died by just pausing on the wrong area. So yeah, I realize, I, I know I keep going on about this. I swear, I swear the game's gaslighting me, but there is definitely an alien technology in terms of becoming invisible. But I realize now that there's a lot of... Um, it says here the research is unlocked after completing a campaign objective. So there's clearly an objective that I need to actually complete before uh, that can be unlocked. I'm just trying to think what it is because I'm I'm the game has been updated definitely. Uh, so it might just be that they've they've purposely said you know what it was it was overpowered uh, to be able to use it that early on in the game and it kind of was. So they've made it so that it can't be done until later on in the game, which would be fair enough. And I just need to kind of realise that and I will eventually get it, or you can get it early and I'm just completely forgetting how to do it and, and I need to actually build something or do something that allows me to to get it, but I, for the life of me I cannot remember. Wow. That was fun. Is there any nuclear fallout at all? There's not. Looks as if I can build fine there. Yeah, excellent. How much uranium does this have? 10,000. Quite an amount. Quite an amount. Warning. A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby Okay, so they're the bottom ones. So they're going to path. They're going to path to here. Uh, there and there. So we may be a tad unprepared for this, actually. Typical. I think that's a reoccurring theme at the moment, so let's be quick, let's be really quick. So we've got some artillery and we can go boom boom, and we're going to be really quick with this sentinel, sentinel, let's not get fussy. Let's not get fussy at all. And this one here is also going to need defending, and we're going to have to put... Already, ah, uh, it's just the normal mushroom ones. I'm not too fussed about those. And that one, and that one, and we're also going to put a repair tower there. And I should have really put a repair tower for these ones. Uh, there and there. You know what? Just to be cautious, because they could, in theory, get here. We'll just do that. And looks good. Looks good. I think that covers all of it. There is a small chance that they do go after this tiny bit here. In fact, that could path. Yeah, I suppose. Right. <laughs> Typical. We're going to get bottlenecked on just that last random piece, aren't we? Warning. Which is fine. A group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby Danger. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. And we'll just play. There we go. Yeah, it's passed exactly where it is. Yeah. Well, it's not a problem. Yeah, it's not a problem. You know what? Let's just do loads of wall. Four walls is plenty. And we'll go here. You know what we haven't done that we need to build? We need to build some more of these because now that we've extended it out quite a lot, we need to be able to move to certain areas of the base. So we'll put one here as well. And that seems good. Well, that was a bad move. I'm doing that again. Just uh, cover these bits up just to be absolutely sure that they're covered. I'm pretty sure the enemies can't run through there, but you never know. 
It's nice and fun when your defences are working pretty damn well. Right, so we're at negative 1200, which isn't too bad, because we're usually at positive 2500, right? Oh. Just teleport. And teleport here. This is one hell of an attack. Uh, yeah, luckily, everything seems fine. And we'll collect everything that came from this area here. So animal biomass 81, not too bad. Not brilliant though actually, considering how many things my guns are firing at. And then we'll go round here and collect the spoils here as well. Right, wow, look at that. 140, nice. 153 animal biomass. That was good. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, we've got another one there as well. And they should just be little mush bits. Is under attack. See, this is where it just gets good and interesting. So, we're 8,000 there. We should be making... How much are we making? We're making a good plus two a second there and plus two. So we are making the plus four. So the uh, centrifuges are always online. They're then making that uranium there, your refined uranium, and we want to get 10,000. What we can do is put some storage units here, and I think that will continue through to our main base as well. That's perfectly legitimate and viable. Warning, a new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Where? A new technology has oh, we've got a meteor. Where's that going to land? They can land in your base and they can really mess your stuff up. I'm trying to remember if these meteors uh, in the desert biome allow you to... We can follow that. Please land soon. That would be pretty cool to land soon. No, unfortunately, it didn't. So, one question to answer is, are the technology queues idle? Okay. We need to fill that out then. We will do, yeah, just get fusion energy. We're going to be using a lot of compressed materials. We're going to be using a lot of those uh, resource synthesizers. So the plan is at some point, before we go off and get titanium and palladium, we're going to be going back to this uh, recon mission one, which is low threat level, and we're going to absolutely blitz it with uh, wind and, and solar, solar, because it's a, it's a desert biome. And we're going to get a load of energy and we're just going to make massive amounts of synthetic ironium because carbonium we're all right. 29 is pretty damn, pretty damn done. What I want to do, however, is just quickly check particular plants because certain plants give certain resources. There we are. So if we make these, we can get some uranium from them. However, it can only grow in desert biomes. And that one has tanzanite as well. So that one has uranium. The reason this is good and is interesting and is important is that this uranium base will eventually run out of uranium. It just will. And the thing that I'm interested in is... Usually those meteors in tropical areas, they will give you more ironium and carbonium. So it will make new... It, it lands and it turns out that the meteor was, you know, part of carbonium or ironium and then you can get a load, which is great. I'm not sure if it does that with the titanium, the uranium and the palladium, the special materials, the hard to get materials. So we have to use cultivators to do that. And what we'll need to do is when it comes to these compressed liquids. So we're getting plus 100 here. So just to prove a point, I'm wondering if do plants grow when there's... Hmm, I'm not sure. Can I... I can't sell the floor. Oh, boy. I might have caused permanent damage there. I'm trying to remember. Warning. Let's do an experiment. Let's do an experiment. Nest. We should go there and clear it out. No, I'm good, thanks. All right, cultivator. Let's let's cultivate some stuff. See what happens. Because we're waiting around anyway. Our base is for once 
massively okay in terms of I have no idea what's connected or what's not so I'm just gonna place connectors around absolutely sporadically this is another one of those stupid selected equipped oh, there we go so the one that's equipped is that one will it grow it can't grow it I don't think it can uh, that's a shame because where there's a lot of okay we have to be very careful there then in that case what we need to do is sell this yep sell that and we can place the cultivator not there I don't want to do that we'll place the cultivator Here, yeah, we'll place it there and get some piping, and we'll just pipe. We'll see what that does. And we've got that one, and equip that one. And hopefully, that should start planting that plant, and we can. We'll see how that works. We're not too fussed about that particular area there. We know that it's dangerous. We know that it's coming in. All right, let's let's see if we can go get it. Just before we get to the ten thousand uranium, let's go on an adventure. That looks like a very big patch, but it turns out it's only 24,000 or so. Oh, I love the minigun. I just love it. It's just so much easier to deal with these enemies now that we can rip through them with just... insane amount of firepower. It's just so much easier than those rockets and flamethrowers. Warning. Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. We should go I'm there sure and they oh, I do not want to really mess around with those. Well, that was fun. And just a little bit further, if I can avoid most of these enemies, it'll be good. It'll be nice to just crack on with the main big enemy that we need to go for. Okay. And there it is. a lot of them inside. This might be difficult. There we go. Kaboom. Did not want to do that. Warning. Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. Warning. I'm detecting a massive swarm of creatures heading towards our outposts. Is that because yeah. As much as possible. This attack is going to be very strong. The mining operation must have Oh, look at all that tanzanite. Beautiful. To repel these creatures. Also, let's not forget about setting up minefields on the critical paths toward our outpost. This should stop them from gathering in this area and improve our chances of survival. So it's Everything going to be coming else. from the bottom. That's fine. So we've kind of prepared for that anyway, right? But what we'll do is, is we will just 
We'll, we'll put it on super mode. So we will get another repair tower there. And this one is more just to protect that repair tower. And we will have rockets. A rocket tower there and there. I don't think the flame towers are really going to be doing much. We'll put a rocket tower here and here. And we'll put another repair tower down as well. We'll just put it right next to that one. That's all naturally protected. I'm hoping it doesn't go to this bit of wall up here. That might path to there. It depends. If it starts getting very heavily flooded near that area they, and they get bottlenecked, that can happen. We'll get some rocket tower. This should be a good one. This is going to be fun. This is going to be a good one. Oh, we've run out of AI, of course. Fair enough. That's fine. That's uh, very easily fixed. Do we need that? Don't we? Yeah, we don't need this stuff now. And you know what? We don't need these internal ones because... We're done. Those are all good. So do I need to build more? I've got five more to oh, I'll build one more. There we go. Negative thirteen eighty, nine o'clock. Hmm. Interesting. Might be a bit risky. But we'll risk it for a biscuit. And that one can go there. Uh, what are the chances of that going to this bit here? It's a reasonable chance, actually. It is a reasonable chance. I don't know why I used that, because I was pretty much standing right there. Oh well. So, how many more minutes? Two minutes. Ah, plenty of time. Plenty of time. And what we can do here is get repair tower here. What's that scuttling noise? There we go, thank you. That was very frustrating. Uh, frustrating? Annoying. And one. There. Sentinel Tower. There and... There and Rocket Tower. There and there. Do everything. There we go. And I think that's enough. I can't think of how to bolster that e any more than we already have. Windows at 25%. New buildings are available for construction. What we will do is we will turn this on. No, do we turn this on? So that's always going to be decompressing. Actually, why I'm not sure, because it's not using any, but we'll turn this on. And how much energy does that make? It makes... Am I reading that right? 1,500? Holy crap. It does use four a second, and that's pretty much our generation as well. So I think it's just, it's just, it's just tit for tat. So um, we're not going to get any growth of uranium at all during the attack, but that's fine because it means that the attack, it means we've got energy through the attack. Because we did lose 200,000 there pretty damn quickly, though it is 3 in the morning in 5 hours time, 5 game hours that is, we'll be fine. So hopefully we'll get through this attack and we'll call that a day on the episode. This has been a good one, it's been a fun one, I feel like it's been reasonably organised. Uh, we got rid of the one up there because that would have just got in the way with those, but these three will be attacking us. And we'll see how we can go. You know what? Where is our cultivator? There's the cultivator. Are we getting it? Yeah, we're getting uranium, look. Small amounts of uranium. But still, uranium nonetheless. And in any desert biome, so we're going to have to be careful. When we get to big wide open areas, we can have cultivators there. So that'll be the plan. And just be cautious as to where the... Let's just put that right there. There we go. Oh, this is a good one. Look at this. 
Oh, look, I've, I'm really happy with myself here. Look, I've, I've realised exactly where things are going to be tricky, and I've dealt with it. They're parting exactly where I expected them to part. This is the one that it worries me, because if these get bottlenecked too much, they will start going up the other way. They will. This is where I like being invisible, because while everything is being attacked, you can quickly wander out. Get a chump. I'm not going anywhere near that. All of this for a showdown that might fail. That's... Yeah, that's quite heavy. I've used half of my ammo already. Okay. Oh, this is... Okay, there's nothing being done there now, so we can go collect all of this. Excellent, all that's hands and iron. Brilliant. We can collect all of this. And run away, run away. We don't need to run away. We can go round and get what was... What, destroyed? No way, they... Oh, wall. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'll destroy a wall, mate. Those things can't seem to. I'm not detecting any large groups of creatures in the vicinity of our base. We've bended off the attack. Surely there's another out. Yeah, that was intense. Our jungle headquarters feel really cozy compared to this place. We've gathered enough uranium to construct a fusion field accelerator. Let's return to HQ to start the construction process. Wow. Right. Will remain as a permanent base of operation. We can expand the number of resource mines that are operational in this area. Look at that, to that's the name. All of the resources for fantastic will be automatically transferred to our HQ as long as the orbital scanner is active. Long distance rig travel and transportation are not possible without it. Plus four uranium. Excellent. And let's have a look at that. Eleven point one. So we are gradually growing, but we don't we we, we just don't need this. Now that we're not going to be using any vast amounts of energy, and now that we're going to be transferring to the other base as well, what we can do is we can go back to headquarters and regroup, rethink, and probably build it out. I think I think we're we're in desperate need of, of upgrading particular areas of the headquarters and really just looking at the towers and seeing where they can be improved uh, because we're, 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 they're starting to get a bit they're starting to get a bit rusty. Um, Right, I think that was a really good episode. We had a really good big attack and everything went fairly smoothly. Uh, thank you for watching and if you like the content, please like, subscribe and comment. And thank you very much. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.